patient that comes to mind is a gentleman in his older 80s. Um, when, when I've been seeing for, I would say, a couple of times already. I've seen him a couple of times, done his whole medication reviews, um, and I came in one day and he looked at me um, and he said, look at my foot do you think this is infected? And I was like, I don't know, let me look at it. Um, and when I looked at his foot, I realized it was all swollen. There was redness going straight up from the toes all the way back up to the calf. Um, it was warm to the touch. And um, he says he, he doesn't have sensation in his feet because he has peripheral artery disease. Um, so therefore, um, one, he was home alone. Um, number two, we couldn't get him to go see a physician because um, he's homebound. Um, so therefore, I had to kind of make that quick decision to kind of figure out what to do in that situation when you have kind of no provider around. Um, what I did was I did a quick assessment, um, talked with the patient, kind of got some information, looked at the physical of his foot, um, took a picture of it and called our nurse practitioner. Um, and basically we were in a three-way conversation with the patient in front of me. I had um, our nurse practitioner and myself and we're kind of discussing the findings and what we should do. Um, after that, we came up with a recommendation for an antibiotic, um, but that just doesn't stop there. Uh, we called it into the pharmacy, but then we realized the patient can't get out of the house to go get his prescription for the antibiotic. So um, what we did is me and my students got in the car <laughs> and we kind of ran to the pharmacy, um, picked up the prescription for him, came back to the house and we did the whole counseling um, so that he could get his antibiotics in a timely manner. Um, and then the next day the nurse practitioner saw him.